Hello folks, Mike here. I get a lot of questions about dyed spires and such. Uh, spires can only be dyed darker. You can't dye a black spire. The only thing you can do is take a white spire and dye it darker. So, you can't dye this. This one's done. Uh, that's the only color it will ever be. And if you want something to look like that, this is the canvas. This is where we start with, is just a white, white spire. And then we use dye and some other secretive artistic processes and turn them into these. Uh, on that topic, I want to take a moment because I've been doing a lot of extensive testing and I want to kind of go over the care and maintenance that goes along with uh, dyed hopper. And it's really nothing different than what you would do with a standard white hopper. Everybody knows, or if you don't know, uh, I'm going to tell you, paintballs will stain. Uh, everyone says that paintballs are biodegradable and, and everything else. I'm telling you, they will stain. I've had paintball splatter uh, that got on a rod and reel that I had here in the garage when I shot a paintball in the trash can and splattered on it and didn't know it. And over the course of a couple months with that paint sitting on it, it actually corroded everything on my rod and reel and started etching the coating and everything else off the, the rod and reel. So paintballs in themselves will corrode stuff, will eat the finish off of things, and I just want you to be aware. So the same thing, same process goes into a white spire. If you let paint sit on the white spire, it will discolor it, it will stain it, and it will turn it uh, colors. So what I do, and I've done extensive testing, and I've given a couple hoppers uh, to uh, NorCal Exclusive that has been doing some extensive testing for me. I thank you guys very much. And what we have found, as what I thought was going to happen, if you let the paint sit on here, and I did a test on my own personal hopper, if you just let paint sit on it and don't wipe it off and just throw it in your gear bag, you will start to get some color fading or uh, not fading but blending or just getting kind of hazy. So uh, a lot of the, the upper half I kept nice where I wiped it off after the game was over and at the end of the day I would just take a wet rag and wipe it off and then dry it off. The bottom half I just kind of let go and let paint sit on it and as you can see, see how it kind of looks hazy? That looks good. That kind of looks hazy. So that's what can happen with a dyed spire just like a white spire. If you let the paint sit on there it's going to turn colors and it's not going to be white any longer. However, if you wipe off your goggle just like you do at the end of the game, I wipe my goggles off with a microfiber. I do the same thing with hopper. Just wipe it down. At the end of the day, I just take a nice wet rag. I wipe her off. Take another uh, rag. I dry her off. And she'll stay looking good uh, and looking new forever. Or, I shouldn't say forever. Uh, she'll look new for a long time. And that's what our field testing has shown. So, that's a little maintenance uh, care for your dyed spires if you have one. Okay, thank you very much.